Y'all, I'm so excited. I just got this package at my door and I have been patiently waiting for it and I kind of regret making my bed right now. So last time I got new sheets was when I got my white humpy sheets. And you know what? White just doesn't work for me because I sleep with my eye makeup on. So I have made a mess of my humpy sheets. And so I went ahead and got some new sheets and I decided on the color gray. I thought that would be a little bit better. But this sheet set is from Honeymoon Home Fashions. And I got a uh, queen size because my bed is queen. Um, these are brushed microfiber, soft touch and quick drying. And they're easy care. And yeah, I can't wait to put them on my bed. And I also got this um, Honeymoon Home Fashions throw and it is gray and it is also um, Sherpa. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be putting this on my bed because I do sleep with my white blanket, but I might just to try it out. It's also got another color on the other side, which is a white cream shade. <laughs> so yeah, this literally just got to my door and I'm so excited. I've needed new sheets for so long, so I'm going to be putting these on my bed and trying them out. So as always, I start my day off with a cup of coffee because I cannot function without caffeine. And I'm using this donut shop coffee and my Keurig and my cute little crazy cat lady coffee cup. After I get a little caffeine in me, then I go and feed all my children. And now I'm putting my hair up in this little bun, doing a little dance for y'all. Hope you like that. And I'm going to use these rose makeup wipes to wipe off some of this funky underneath my eyes. And now I'm going to use these Eliza Facial Cleansing Papers. These are so cool. They're actually little papers. And you put them in your hand and you moisten them a little bit with water and then you rub your hands together and it actually turns into a face wash. These are fragrance free, color free, gluten free and they make your skin feel so soft and clean and they're just really neat. You see how it turned into a face wash? Now I'm going to brush my teeth with my super cool electric toothbrush. I'm going to be using a little bit of toothpaste and my tuxedo charcoal whitening powder stuff. This stuff is so neat. It cleans your teeth really well, makes your mouth feel fresh, and it whitens your teeth. So my electric toothbrush is the bomb.com. It has a UV sanitizer on the charging base. It has a long-lasting battery, three different brush modes, three different brush heads, and it's got a two-minute smart auto timer so you don't brush your teeth too long and see that that sanitizes your toothbrush so it's clean every time so now I'm just taking my pillowcases and my sheets and my blanket off my bed because I got brand new sheets and I am ready to put them on this bed and get rid of these white ones because they got makeup all over them so I just got this little blanket in it's gray and white, and then I got these little gray sheets to match. So as you can see here, I'm trying to put my new sheets on my bed, but I literally do this every time. Ugh, I put it on wrong every time, like seriously. Anytime I put sheets on, I do it wrong and I have to redo it all and it's so frustrating, but whatever. These sheets are so super soft and they're so cute and I'm so glad I got them. I actually slept with them last night. This video was recorded yesterday. Um, and they're so soft and comfortable. I loved them. Okay, now here's my moment of shame. I'm going to put my new blanket on my bed. Yep. Yep. Oh, Lord help me. Look at that! I don't cry, baby! <laughs> Okay, you know what? That was my mistake. So I'm just gonna put my white blanket back on my bed and yeah, it's done. Okay, so I'm not trying to make this a clean-in video, but guess what? It would not be an honest day in the life if I did not show you this little mess right here. It's such a joy to clean it every day. Oh my gosh.
I hate litter boxes. I hate them, hate them, hate them. So yeah, I just needed to add that in. Um, I also started a load of laundry and this is the bathroom after I cleaned it. It looks like a little better, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, it's time to pour me a little glass of water. Have me some apple cider vinegar. Girl, this stuff is good and it's magical. You should try it. Just checking in for a second. So I finished pretty much cleaning my entire apartment. My kitchen really didn't need clean because it was already clean. So I didn't do anything there, but I cleaned everything else, bedroom, bathroom, living room, floor, whatever. I have fed all of my animals and now I'm going to work out, which is a new part of my daily routine, which I really didn't do before, but I knew I needed to start. Um, I'm actually not going to include that in the video though because I feel like a lot of people would be trying to correct my form or telling me I should do it this way and that way but you know what um, I kind of just like to do what works for me or what I feel like works for me so <laughs> I'm gonna do that off camera also yesterday I cleaned out my closet and I'm gonna show it to you guys okay girl so this is still a work in progress because I need some more co hangers but other than that, I think my closet looks kind of tidy, right? Right? <laughs> right? So, I just finished my workout. And now, I think I'm gonna throw on my bathing suit and I'm gonna go outside and lay out because yesterday I tried to lay out and I kid you not, the sky was like black. I'm like, seriously? I stayed out for a few hours. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna do this. I'm already out here, whatever. As Soon as I come back in, the sun came out. Wow. So I've been keeping an eye on outside and it's super sunny outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my bathing suit on and I'm gonna go lay out. So for an SPF, I'm going to be using this Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Oil-Free Lotion Sunscreen. Um, it's SPF 30, so I'm using that as an SPF. For a tanning oil, I'm going to use this Just Natural Body Nutritive Serum. Seriously, if you're anything like me and you actually can't get a tan for nothing, you got to try this stuff. I don't know what it is about this stuff, but it literally makes your skin tan and yeah, it feels amazing, it's super moisturizing, and if you want to know more about this product, I will link my full review video down below. So I'm going to cover my entire body in this, including my face as well. Okay, so as you can see, I am all oiled up and I'm ready to go to the pool. Look at me, look at this outfit, girl. Don't be jealous! Okay, this is actually a bathing suit cover-up. Okay, I look like I got something going on here. Maybe a little redness. Um, anyways, the stupidest thing just happened. So I was only out there for maybe 20 minutes and the lifeguard comes around and tells everybody. I'm sorry, but you guys are gonna have to leave. There's an issue with the pool. Um, so the pool is closed, so everyone has to go. Because the pool didn't have enough chlorine. I wasn't there to swim. I just wanted to get a little color. Okay. Really stupid, but. I guess I got a little something. Um, good thing is I did stop and check the mail. So that made me a little happier that I got some packages. I got a really nice size package here from burr, 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 Scentbird and Deck of Scarlet. So I'm really excited to open these y'all. So I'm gonna open them on cam and I might try out this makeup today. So what do we got here? Hi Charity, enjoy our new July, August deck of Scarlet palette. Can't wait to see your hashtag Scarlet looks. XO Team Scarlet. Okay, so this deck of Scarlet palette um, was created with Belle Jordan. And this is what she looks like. So let's see what kind of palette she has created. So first look here, this looks really awesome. I really like this packaging. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a mascara, and I've never had a Deck of Scarlet mascara before, so I'm excited to try this. Deck of Scarlet, <laughs> that's so funny, sexy AF mascara. Cruelty free, and the shade is called Blackout, and this wand looks nice. 
focus. Okay, there we go. Mm, my hand looks nasty. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be a good mascara. I can't wait to try that. And so here is the outer packaging of the palette. It's got a sexy lady on it. It's a burst of amethyst mixed with pink, pinked up purples and warm nudes. Well, let's just check it out, shall we? Oh, this is cute. Wow, I think I want that setting up in my room because that's adorable. So let's see, the first side here, we've got the lip colors. One is called Passion and one is called Tempting. Okay, Light, you can quit with your reflection. And over here, we've got a blush and this looks like a highlighter. And then three different eyeshadows. This one is gonna be my fave, girl. It's called Supernova. We got Crush and Drama. Oh my God, seriously, Light, just stop. Well, maybe if I take this protective thingy off. The glare won't be as bad. Durr. And then the highlight is called Shh. And the blush is called like that. These are going to be fun to play with. Oh my god, did I really just do that? This protective thing like went into the lipstick. Thanks protective thing. This is going to be fun to play with. Up next, we've got some Scentbird perfumes. You guys know I love me some Scentbird. What do I got in here? So, Got some papers here, tells you how to use it and all that fun stuff. And this looks like it's gonna be a, this paper is a perfume called Get A Room. So we've got three different scents here. They came in their little velvet pouches, which is awesome. And then they came in the carrying cases. So we've got silver, it's aqua, and a pink. Okay, let's see what perfumes we got today. We've got a Toka perfume called Stella. Oh, that's a beautiful girl. We've got, um, oh my God, that Stella smells amazing. Um, we also have Confessions of a Rebel by Get A Room. Let's go this way. And last we have Velvet Orchard by Tom Ford. Smelled good, but that was very strong and I put my face right in it. Not a good idea. Okay, y'all, so off camera, obviously, I took a shower and now I'm gonna apply some of this eye gel to my eyelids and then I'm gonna put the eye cream underneath my eye. This is a two-step little eye thing here from Avon that I've been using and I really like it. Now I'm gonna take this Skin Diva Rose Water Spray. This stuff is amazing. It's like hydrating, it's anti-aging, it's got so many good skin benefits in it, but I cannot stand the bottle. So I'm using a refillable bottle I got from Simply Earth and it worked out so much better. So if you get some of this rose water spray, if you're gonna spray it directly on your face, you might wanna switch it to another bottle. I wish they would have changed the nozzle on that because that spray bottle, it's too strong and I needed it more like a mist. So that's why I switched it over. So now I'm just applying some jojoba oil to my skin, putting a little concealer on my eyes, and then I'm gonna go in with my GIS Cosmetics Eye Primer. This stuff is amazing. Like, it is a really good eyeshadow primer. It's also a lip primer, but it also like shows up as a pretty white color on your eyes, so it really brightens that eye area, and I have been loving it. So I'm actually not gonna do a makeup tutorial because I didn't wanna drag out this video too long because it's already long enough, so we're gonna skip that, but I'm gonna use my new eyeshadow palette, and here I am. Oh my God, I look so good, girl. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Mm. Here we go. Hey girl, hey. Yeah, that palette's pretty amazing. I'm just saying. So I just put some of my It's a Tin stuff in my hair and I'm just gonna let it air dry. Um, a few things I wanted to mention, I actually did get some color and I told y'all I wasn't even out there that long. So that um, just natural stuff is amazing. 
I'm gonna try to talk really quickly because my birds, they wanna talk too, and I know some folks don't like that, but I'm so sorry that I have animals. Anyway, so my camera died earlier whenever I was trying to talk about the scent bird perfumes, and the last one I had talked about was the Velvet or Orchard by Tom Ford. It smells amazing, but it was so strong whenever I first sprayed it, so I'm trying to decide on what uh, perfume I wanna wear today. I'm kinda thinking I wanna wear the Toca Stella because, <laughs> I don't know. It's amazing. Like, if you're um, wanting to try out Scentbird and you don't know what perfumes to choose, these three, look into them. Like, Google them, research them, find out what the notes are. They are just like three perfect scents, and I think these would be good for anybody. So, yeah, we got Toca Stella, we've got um, Confessions of a Rebel Get a Room. So good, so good. And then we've got Tom Ford. I already said that one, Velvet Orchard, Orchid, whatever. Um, yeah, so sign up on Scentbird. Scentbird's amazing if you haven't tried it out yet. Like, instead of buying a whole bottle of perfume that you don't even know if you're gonna like or if it's even gonna fit, like, you know, with you, um, instead of committing to a big bottle, try Scentbird. It's super affordable and it's totally worth it. You get these cute little cases, throw them in your purse. Perfect. Um, but yeah, these three scents, look into them. I highly suggest them. Hey, they match my background here. They smell really, really good. And I would actually like full bottles of all three of these, so that would be great. Hushy hushy now. Um, I wanted to say that I'm super impressed with the deck of Scarlet Mascara. Oh, like, y'all know I'm kind of weird about mascara, especially new mascara, but this stuff was pretty good. So I don't know if they sell it single, if they don't, you should totally just get this palette because this palette's amazing. But um, this comes with the whole little set. Mascara is so good. I like that mascara a lot, a lot. Um, but yeah, this palette, wow. This lipstick, um, Tempting. Woo, girl, that is my kind of shade. And the Supernova, the blush, the highlighter. Huge thumbs up to this palette. Um, oh, I already got makeup on the back of it. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really good palette. So glad I got this. Uh, anything else I wanna talk about? I don't know what else I'm gonna do today. Like, what time is it? It's 3.32. <sighs> I don't know what time Alan's gonna come home. I really wanted to just lay out at the pool all day, but that got ruined. I've already cleaned the apartment. I've already worked out. So, look at that highlight. It's so cute. So, I'm probably actually just gonna go lay on my couch for a little bit, so I'm not gonna record that, um, cause that would be so boring. But yeah. Oh, I know what I wanna do. Hold up. I remembered I wanted to do this today. Hold on. So, I got these foot masks, and um, this is, they're two different masks. One is like, um, one of the peeling ones, you know, the freaky peeling ones where your feet just peel. <laughs> so, that's what this one is. Uh, this one is a deep moisturizing and nourishing foot mask. This one is amazing. I haven't tried the peeling one yet. That's what I'm gonna try today. But this one, oh my gosh. My feet felt like angel's feet after I was done using this. Like, this was so good. And this is just a moisturizing mask. Um, yeah, so these are from a company called, I don't know how to pronounce it, but B.A. Luz. I'll link it down below if y'all wanna check it out. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Um, but yeah, they're super affordable and this mask works really well. I'm going to be putting this mask on, um, foot mask, whatever, but you're not gonna be able to see the peeling today, obviously, because it's gonna take a few days. But it's supposed to remove cuticles and dead cells and restores your plump, elastic, smooth, radiant, and soft feet. Girl, I didn't know my feet was plump, but I take it. Leave them on for about 60 to 90 minutes. I'm gonna have to put me on some kind of movie on Netflix. Maybe I'll finish watching um, Riverdale. Ah, come on, second season of Riverdale and it's amazing, girl. I love Riverdale. Um, yeah, so 60, 90 minutes, take off the foot mask and rinse your feet off. And then apply a lotion. And then after four to seven days, the layers of skin is gonna come off. I've done these before, but just not this brand. Hey, I'm trying to talk about my cheesy feet. So rude. Okay, let's just get out of here. Let's go put this on my feet. Put on some Riverdale. Okay, y'all, I got these masks on and I'm just gonna say 
This is gonna be a long hour of my life. Um, you can walk around with them though, it just kind of feels weird because it's cold and it's squishy. But can I just say, these like have a seriously strong smell. Even my daughter cat was like, um, no mom, no. Way too strong of a smell. I don't know how I feel about that, but hopefully they work, so that's all that really matters, I guess. I just realized this throw would actually look really cute on my bed with the gray sheets. So earlier, <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. So when I put the order in for this, it said throw, right? Um, but I don't know why my brain thought it was a full-size blanket or like a queen size. So that's when I put it on my bed. I was like, oh, whoopsie. But I wanted to say, oh my gosh, this blanket is so, so thick and luscious. It's also from the same uh, company as the sheets. I'm pretty sure I already said that, but whatever. I don't exactly know what material it is. Probably said that on the package and I probably already read it, but I can't remember. But, oh my God, this is amazing. It's thick, but it also feels kind of light at the same time, but it's super soft. And yeah, I actually think it's, looks pretty cute on my bed. I think I'm gonna fold it up and, or just lay it like that. That looks cute, right? All right, highlight of my day. <laughs> and it might seem cruel, but I really wanted to catch it because I've never caught one before. So I just caught my first um, firefly. <gasps> Lightning bug, whatever you wanna call it. We don't really have these back in Texas. So being able to see them lately has been such a joy. So awesome. I'm gonna shut the door so it's all dark in here and you can see them light up. Come on, light up, little bugger. Mm, there we go. They've been all over here in Virginia and I am loving it. Oh, I have to sneeze. Oh, where did it go? <laughs> Bless me. I can't believe I actually got one. I can't believe I actually got one. I was a little scared too, because I don't like bugs, but. Yay! I'm gonna let him go though, but I just wanted to capture him and um, get him on camera. Because he's cute. They're so amazing how they light up. And I wanted to show y'all. I just love it, oh my gosh. Okay, so I guess I'm going to end this video because it's been quite a few hours and Alan is home, we got something to eat, and yeah, I'm going to wash my face and put my jammies on and get ready for bed. So this is the end of my day in the live video and hope you enjoyed it. Yep, I'll see you next time, bye.